Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the co-main event of 261? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go to the arena for this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Fighting Valentina. Then, another world title is on the line at 115 pounds. Is this the moment? We have a new champion of the world. Zhang Wei Li, the battle-tested strawweight queen. And still! Fresh off our opus and the greatest fight in women's MMA history. Defends her crown against Big Fro's Nami Yunus. Another ex champ, but a one of a kind phenomenon. And still! Who snapped the divisional boogie woman's reign of terror with an elegant left hook. She has turned the mixed martial arts world on its axis tonight. I have been waiting a year for this day to tell you we are back. UFC 261 has just broken the MMA world. The card is going to have a. Next, it's our highly anticipated championship matchup for the UFC Women's Strawweight Division title. All right, so here she is, the number one 115-pound contender and the strawweight who many fans believe is the number one strawweight in the world. Now, thankfully, the best will fight the best. This is her chance to prove it. She is not the champion. She believes she will leave as such. And as she makes this walk, you hear the crowd behind her. She is looking to leave as the new UFC strawweight champion. So much depth out, 115 pounds, but they're all still chasing her. Yeah, they are, the undisputed UFC strawweight champion. And she's got the confidence that belies the champion as you see her make this walk here tonight. She won the belt with flying colors, defended it with style points, and that's the same goal here tonight. She really is a fighter that maintains a calm demeanor, takes it fight by fight. She has aspirations to be the greatest of all time. She is well on her way. Till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Steve Levine. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Strawweight Championship of the World! Introducing first! Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 10 wins, 4 losses. She stands 5 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Fog Rose. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Whaley Magna. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway.
Scheduled for five rounds if need be. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. not been the weapon of choice tonight as she lands yet another combination of kicks. She's landing so many kicks back to back. I don't think I've ever seen it before in a fight. Nama Yunus's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Oh, she is the bee's knee. <laughs> so bad. I mean, I can't do this with you, It's just so bad. Think talk about dad jokes and how they're no good. But I love it. Maybe it's because I'm the dad, too. I mean, they're awesome. They're Just awesome. so bad. But yeah, she is the beast. Knee. And the knee was nice. It was a great game. Nice punch lands. Nice leg kick lands. Beautiful body kick. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown D? Jean gets in the clinch yet again. Big right hook attempt, but she misses. Well, Nama Yunus' shot is blocked. Well, the damage starting to add up, bleeding from her cheek now. Two minutes remain in the round. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, John, but she is a fast, accurate striker. Wow! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Liver kick. Give me a Look at it. Look at it. Now, shoot. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well-placed kick there by Sean Whaley. Oh, she blocks the punch. Uppercut counter, that'll work. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Whaley Jean. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big knee lands there. Round two coming up next. All right, great round it was. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, a lot for the replay guys to choose from, but John, it's gonna be mostly kicks, right? She landed him over and over again, found her target, locked in on it, and drove her shin right through her opponent's body. That was a great display of kicking in the UFC. Are you ready? You ready? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Straight right is there. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has it here. She secured the tie clinch. Now she's going to start to elbow and knee to try to put damage on her opponent. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block a shot that's incoming. So 37 oh. total strikes. What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Oh my goodness! Some real power shots here. Oh, big left hook there. Well, she's doing a better job defensively now as you see her raise the guard to block the strike. She's gotta be careful to not take any more damage near that. Absolutely, she has to protect her eye, make sure that she is not getting hit on that specific spot. The more she takes damage to the spot, the more of a chance she has of this fight getting stopped on the stool. 
Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Ooh, what a punch. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Zhang. Educated jab right there from Zhang Wei Li. This is a competitive division, but certainly looks like a fighter who could reign for some time. I mean, China's first UFC champion. And Wei Li is the person that you want to see carrying the flag for her country. She has everything. She's even learned to speak English. Now, she understands the importance of drawing people in and capturing the imagination of the fight game. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Visibly limping here. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. Into the final minute now of this championship fight. Let's get some points. Let's get that well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Well, back to her. Right, she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort. Shang's got her head going to the guillotine now. Watch your neck. Watch guillotine. We're getting a finish here. Oh, saved by the bell. Round over. And the finish came just in time. Thought maybe she might tap there, but you know how tough she is. So the sufficient attempt right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. Back to the stools they go. We'll see if she can recover in time for this next round. All right, so the big moment in that previous round was the knockdown. We'll get you the replay now. DC, take us through it. She was able to get her chance. She was able to find her moment. She recognized that an opportunity presented itself. She took it and landed that beautiful knockdown. showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. There's no tell in that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Nama Yunus gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Beautiful body kick. Oh, she's hurt yet. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, man, her face is painted with blood now. 76 total strikes have landed for Wei Jean. And connecting at a 44% clip tonight, DC, against Rose Namajunas. Oh, nice shot to the body, connects for her there. Somewhat surprising, we didn't see a lot of body work from her earlier in the fight, but she is getting after it now. Oh, she is such one a good striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Looks as though her leg might be hurt here, limping a little bit. Look, you can see it. Look, she's got her. Beautiful diving strike lands. Under two minutes to go in the round. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move the half guard, then continue to try to advance. Sean's looking for that arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. It's in there deep, there you go. Really nice 
nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly, she had an opening, and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. So, ladies and gentlemen, there she is as the celebration continues for the UFC Women's Strawweight Champion. Getting it done with style points here tonight. She is your champion and your winner by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, ten seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke and still the undisputed UFC Strawweight Champion of the world, Wayley Mankiewicz! All right, so congratulations to the still UFC strawweight champion of the world, and I am glad my daughters don't fight <laughs> at 115 pounds. I mean, she is a savage. She understands what life is like as a UFC champion. Well, she does not want to experience the other side of life.